Hello, good evening and welcome to uh, my save with Wrexham. We take up where we left off yesterday, 25th of September, we've just beaten Stockport County 2-1. Our next game is in a few days away to Aldershot Town. So let's go and uh, get that one played as quickly as we can. Okay, we are live, so let's go. We've got a week until the uh, the older shot game. We are going. Okay, we've got a monthly staff meeting, but as always, I'm just going to request a summary. I don't tend to do these meetings myself. Four days until we go to uh, to Aldershot Town in the uh, Panorama National League, and we currently sit second behind Grimsby. I don't use one but he's a good player so we'll um, add him to the short list and see if he can play another position this one's not good enough so we'll get rid of that one I think we need to scout this guy more Same with this one, because if he's three and a half star, we want him. And he's got potentially five stars. Potential. Not the best choice of words there, but... Tommy Scott, goalkeeper. Not great at the moment, but potentially good. 
so we'll have a look at him. Nah, not going to bother with that one. I mean, Hughes, we definitely want to add to the shortlist. No. Definitely not. Definitely not. Sunny Best. We'll scout him a bit more because he could be good enough. No. Um, no, too many question marks. No, again, too many question marks. Too many question marks. Definitely too many question marks. Too many. 100% James Clark is being added to the uh, shortlist. We'll bring him in if we don't go up. Kai Sanders is on the potentially national league so we'll get not interested not interested channel nowhere near good enough Nowhere near good enough. Are we still lying? Try and get the uh, the older shop game done as quickly as we can now. Pre-match press conference. So. They are a good team, so we're going to have to respect them. Stockport County against Weymouth. Stockport will definitely win that. We're going to have to think about what we do with Rob Lane to him when he comes back. Chesterfield game yet. I think we need to be responsible with our young players. Right, let's move on. And let's uh, get into the older shot game. As always, I'm going to pick the team in exactly the way I normally do. So we'll be uh,
asking the assistant manager for recommendations and then tweaking from there. So let's uh, have a look and see what the assistant manager thinks. So we'll quick pick. Right, so we're going to need to look at the uh, the wingers. Angus is going to come in on the, the right. McAlinden can play on the left because Tour is injured. No, no, suspended rather. He got a red card in the last game, didn't he? So he's suspended. David Jones needs to be on the bench. So we'll put him on the bench instead of uh, Green. Brisley can go on there instead of Davis. And that'll do us. Right. the match so we've got Marek Steck in goal the back four of Hosanna, Hayden, Lennon and Rowe Tozer at the base of midfield Jones and Young ahead of him Angus and McAlinda out wide and Paul Mullen up front that's kind of dropping encouragement and that's exactly what we're going to do after about five minutes we'll drop an encourage to start with believe we didn't concede the goal there to be quite honest with you so older shot 10 are on the attack again but Stex bailed us out Seller on the ball now, but that's an excellent tackle. Although we've given it away, but won it back straight away. Mullin gives it to Rowe, Rowe to McAlinden. McAlinden needs some help. Tozer's there for him. Rowe gives it to Young, Young finds McAlinden. McAlinden gives it to Mullin, Mullin to Jones, Jones out wide to Angus. Angus gets to the byline, plays it across, and McAlinden's there to finish it. the replay easy tap in at the back stick
Tony Zer gives it to Rowe, Rowe to McAlinden, McAlinden to Young, Young to Mullin, Mullin. McAlinden, McAlinden gives it to Mullin, Mullin. Oh, he nearly gets it in. McAlinden's got it on the edge of the area. Jones, Tozer, Mullin. Rowe. Goes down the line. Deep cross to the back stick and Angus is there with a the header. Fantastic goal. And we're two up away at Aldershot. We'd have taken that before the start of the day. Half time, 2 0. And you'd have to say, on balance, we're a little bit fortunate. Not the best of the chances, but let's give them a little bit of a rocket and go for it. And we'll hit them with a demand more. That doesn't seem to have gone down very well. There ain't a lot happening, so we might need to be thinking about some subs in a minute. But there's nobody standing out particularly as needing to come off. Right, 15 minutes to go. Roe is now going to have to come off. So Hall Johnston, I'm going to need to swap them around because Hall Johnston can't play left back. So we're going to have to sacrifice a left back. And Mullins had a good game but we'll give Wharton a run out up front and we'll bring on David Jones in place of Harry Lennon and David Jones can go into the base of midfield. We'll send Tozer into defence. In fact, I'm going to put Luke Young at the base of the midfield. Yeah, I'm going to put Luke Young at the base of the midfield. So that's the three changes. with the corner headed over we got away with that one I think we need to drop a bit of a demand more they've come off it a little bit in the last few minutes Tozer gets us out of trouble at the back McAlinden, Jones Hosanna has given the ball away, that's a sloppy, sloppy pass. And Andrews is in and scores. We've absolutely given that away. Shocking. Jones, Hall Johnson, 
Hayden, Young, Tozer, Hosanna, we are keeping the ball nicely. Jones, Hosanna, Hosanna plays in Kyle Wooten. Wooten's absolutely smashed it. And he's got his first goal of the season. So we're going to give that a bit of a celebration. Great goal and a really, really solid result to start the stream. Fantastic result to start the stream. Delighted with that. So, give them all a pat on the head. Probably going to wonder what's going on, seeing as I was ranting at them a few minutes ago. picked up an injury but it's only one or two days so that's fine Angus impresses he scored and assisted so we better give him a little pat on the head and rub his tummy so we'll put our arms around him pleased how he played and that he scored that seems reasonable carry this on absolutely let's uh, do the next game up it's Chesterfield at home which is a potentially tough game but it's one we should be looking to win we'll have to have a look at the fitness of the players and decreased transfer revenue concerns over the wage budget I think we can probably adjust that somebody in in January let's have a look see what the uh, press want to have to say side but we are better I think that's exactly right Rob Lainton no we're not going to rush him back yet yeah he <coughs> he deserves more time absolutely it's October it's far too early to be panicking yet We're in the draw for the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. 
So I'll have a quick slurp of coffee while that happens. There's not much money at this stage, so we just want an easy game that we can get through, preferably at home. a couple of the big boys from the conference so far. There's still a number of sides left in it that we'd like to avoid. to have uh, avoided, we've dodged a bullet there. Not I don't want to go to Knott's County either, and we're not. Hitching away would have been okay. Wrexham, so we've got a home tie against York from the National League North. So, similar standard of team. But at least we're at home. We've got a chance. It's not going to be an easy game, but a home tie against the side at this level, I'd always give us a good shout of getting through. the end of the draw, so confirmation that we've drawn that at home to York City. maintain our good start to the season. Ideally, I think I might look to get Dan Jarvis, um, David Jones into the midfield. with the side too much. Callum Rowe needs to come out though from left back. So it's going to have to be Harry Bell. Is that the best we can do? on the bench. Oh, sacrifice and Sean Brisley. There we go. So we do at least have a left back that we can bring on. So the team today, Marek Steck in goal, the back four of Hosanna, Hayden, Lennon and Green. Toves are at the base of midfield, Jones and the two Joneses ahead of him, Dick, James and David. Durangas uh, and McAlinden out wide and Mullin up front as always. So we 
you can outstretch the arms and tell them to pick up where they left off. Don't think they need to say anything else. And we want to score first, obviously. Yeah, we want to be scoring goals. That's the way it goes. So we're on the attack first. McAlinden down the left. He needs a bit of help though. He's got it from Jones. McAlinden. But there's nobody in the middle to get on the end of it. Jones over the top. demand a bit more we've been the better team but we've created next to nothing so we need something to happen Absolutely need something to happen. Lennon, Hayden at the back, runs forward with it, plays it out wide to Hosanna, Hosanna to Angus, Angus to Jones, back to Hosanna, Jones, Hayden, Hosanna, Angus, Hosanna. Back to Hayden. Hayden's looking for help. He's got it from Toza. Jones to McAlinden. Jones through to Angus. Andy or Angus puts Rex and 1 0 up. So let's give that a bit of a celebration. the replay what a brilliant ball through and Angus cool as a cucumber great save pardon me Grimsby have sadly gone ahead in their game after having been behind Dior Angus might need to come off but I don't know if we've got anyone I can bring on I'll put Mullen out there and bring Wooden on up top because I need to save Jordan Davis take over from Cameron Green at left back should he need it so we'll demand more just review what effect that has for the next 10 minutes or so then Tozer for Luke Young yeah we'll go with that Green is going to have to see the game through. I think Hosanna might need to come off for Reese Hall Johnston. Jones is now going to have to see the game through, and there's several players who are blowing out of their asses a little bit. But we do look like we're going to see this one through reasonably comfortably. Yeah, the game ends without any, without any more highlights. So outstretch the arms and say, well done lads. Give them all a pat on the head, that was good. Yeah, we need to keep morale going. Carl Wharton was quite good. I think that's a bit harsh. I 
I'm not going to dig him out for that performance. So we've now got the post-match press conference. Let's see what pearls of wisdom they've got for us today. I'm pleased with the result. Yeah, absolutely I'm pleased. Will you be looking to bring anyone else in? I wouldn't expect anything else. until the next game so we've got a weekend off before we play York so we should be able to pick a very very strong side to take on York can't really afford not to need to uh, need to get to at least the first round of the FA Cup. I think the fourth qualifying round is the last one before the first round if I remember rightly. So we could potentially be one win away from a decent payday because there are some big teams going to be in the first round. And as always, we want either a home tie we can win easily, or an away tie against a big boy like Sunderland or Portsmouth, or our Plymouth Argyle, of course, which as many of you will know is the team I support. So we'll just try and get through now to the, uh, the York game. Luke Young's picked up an injury. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. What's he got? Oh, three weeks, so he's missing the game. But Hall Johnson is going to be fit, so that's fine. So it's just Luke Young that's going to be missing. actually dropped down to third. The Sully Hall Moors have gone ahead of us. What did they do to do that? Oh they beat Kingsland Town away 2-0. So they're two points clear of us but we have a slightly better goal difference. And they're now joint top of the league. waiting for the, uh, the FA Cup game, I'll just have a sort of coffee. So we've signed a physio, excellent. A we'll quick look and see how good he is. Terrible but actually. 
He can just carry the sponge, it's fine. conference ahead of the game. Let's see what the press have got to say this time. Latest on Kwame Thomas. Let's just quickly have a look. Two to four months. He's still miles away from coming back. David Jones. Been glad of the rest. York are York the sort of team that worries you? The potential will be a huge upset. Oh, I'm not taking anything for granted. We're fully prepared and ready to go out and win. So let's go with them. Let's go and do it. in the first round of weights for the winners. Confirmation of that. The draw is on Monday. So we won't have long to wait to find out who we've got. I suspect we might have a couple of changes to make for this one. Let's have a look. Yeah got an injury to Luke Young and if I can get an upgrade let's get Callum Rowe back in the team and Luke Young from Redmond Paul Johnston for Harry Bell Jarvis can come in and green. There we go, we filled the bench. We've got one player to give a squad number two, and that's Harry Bell. He can have the number three shit for now. I don't think we'll be using him today, but he's there if we need him. So the team today, stacking goal, the back four of Hosanna, Hayden, Lennon and Rowe, Tozer at the base of midfield, the two Joneses ahead of him, Angus and McAlinden out wide, Mullen up front as always, let's go. Favourites and I want us to play like it, so let's pump the fists and tell them that. And let's go. Give it 10 minutes and then we'll hit them with a demand more if we're not doing, if we've not created anything. Not had a shot on target yet, so we will hit them with a demand more. Most of them are okay with that. Mullin to McAlinden. McAlinden needs to play like White to Angus. Angus needs to give Mullin time to get in the box. That was a very, very close. Hosanna with the ball comes forward from right back. 
needs support though. No, he doesn't. He's gone all the way. He's gone to the McAlinden at the back stick. Rowe tries to beat his man but can't. So Jones gives it to Tozer. Tozer back to Lennon. Lennon to Jones. Jones to McAlinden. Mullin to Tozer. Tozer slides in Angus and he can't find the net. We are getting through. Not created much, but we are at least getting chances. McAlinden now crosses. Angus is going to have to run to get there. He has, he's given it to Hosanna Jones, to Dave Jones. Is it to Roe McAlinden? Oh, it's clipped the bar. We're far, far the better team, but we need to thrash the arms and say I'm far from pleased. We'll send them out and we'll take Hosanna off. Actually we can because I don't have a right back, I don't think. I could put Hayden at right back. Yeah, let's do that and then Hosanna off. Tozer into the back line. Hosanna. For David Jones. Hosanna for Dan Jarvis. Go. Sorry, message from the wife. Let's hit a demand more. Dior Angus has scored. Sorry, text message from the wife. Tozer to Jones, Jones to Angus. Angus gives it to Hayden, Hayden to McAlinda, McAlinda to Mullin, Mullin smashes it into the back of the net. Fantastic goal.
good performance. So I'm pleased with that. Just go and do the uh, the post match press conference. So just enjoy the ride now. Yeah, we deserve to win that. Callum Rowe, I'd love to keep him permanently if we can. Who did I miss in it? Hall Johnson, one to two days, that's fine. No problem. First round draw, we've got a home tie at Morecambe. At bottom of League One, so it's tough, but winnable. Should have a full house at the race course for that one, hopefully. Three days until the uh, until the next game away to Barnet. And that is going to be the last game of today's stream. I keep getting messages from the wife asking for things, so I'm going to have to. Uh, to call it a night here I'm afraid but we'll play one more so the Barnet game is the uh, the end and then we'll go for a raid so let's do the press conference relatively soon. Yeah, we need to be patient. McAlinden's a game changer. There we go. We'll give Harry Landman a bit of support as well. And then here we go with the uh, Barnet game. Warren 
is at the Centre for Wrexham. So he is an under 18 sports scientist, that's absolutely fine. He can come in. And here we go with the last game, Barnet. So once again, we'll quick pick. And then we'll just take out the weak links in the side. So Macalinden, swap Macalinden and Toure around. Toure. As long as we've got somebody on the bench who can take over from him. If I put Carl Wooden on the bench. Dior Angus can play there, can't he? Yeah, we'll put Angus there instead. And there we go. So today's... Just just waiting for the, uh, the line-up. So there you go, today's line-up. Stacking goal. Hosanna, Hayden, Lennon and Rowe at the back. Toza at the base in midfield. James Jones and David Jones ahead of him. Angus and McAlinden out wide. Mullen up front. And we'll just give him a little bit of encouragement. And go. the line. Angus forward to Mullin. Mullin's going to need some help from there. He's been absolutely taken out there. That has to have been a yellow card, but it wasn't. So we'll demand a little bit more here. Seems we're only third in the league. Yeah, not happy with that. We'll thrash the arms, not good enough. centre back on the bench we'll leave it for now not making a sub for the sake of it so we'll demand a bit more it's going to fizzle out into a nil-nil draw it's a disappointing way to end tonight's stream but that is going to be the way it ends
get a raid going. We're going to raid Tony. He's just about to start, so that's absolutely ideal. We'll raid Tony. Okay. 